and it's above your left hand. This throws people up all the time. But I'm gonna do it over and over so you guys can see. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is with the inside, get my left hand inside, same thing, I'm gonna squeeze out from the inside. See that? So that's where my middle finger is. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get my right hand on top of that, just like that. Squeeze, right, and pull up. And towards the shoulder, and just start to ease in, ease in, and just pull that up a little more. And right there, release. All right. Okay. Good. So what's gonna happen from this point is, since you're stretching, you want to use less water. All right. So I'm gonna take all the water out. Dave, how much uh, thickness do you have at the bottom? The bottom, I'll say about um, usually something about like something around half an inch to three quarters of an inch. You can get it up to an inch um, if your piece is thicker mm -hmm. or um, uh, if there's more clay. Through there, bring it out. Uh, one more trick is you want to keep the shoulder and the bottom at a 45 degree angle until towards the very end, right? Because um, that's that's where the structure happens, right? So if you if I stretch this out now mm -hmm. and I try to put, pull yep. put. Uh, yep pull up more, what's gonna happen is this angle changes naturally without even touching it because this is gonna get wider, mm -hmm. right? So what you really wanna do is keep it at a 45 degree angle and you notice that as I'm pushing this out, this is gonna naturally pull out, right? So um, at this point, you don't, you don't even need to touch that part. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch from here and then to here. So every time I stretch, it's gonna get narrower and narrower, right? So I'm gonna start from here, right? Same thing, my middle finger inside. Stretch, 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 right around there. Get your right hand above it, squeeze, and pull up. So I'm pretty much using the water that I had before on the walls, right, which is pretty much slip now. <laughs> right there, ease into the shoulder. Right. And you're already opening your hand inside, or, or um, it's still... Yeah, so... Um, at this point, what's gonna happen is you can't just stretch at a point because it's so wide, right? So what your inside hand is gonna do as you're stretching, let's say from here, I'm gonna start with a middle finger, but as I come up, I'm gonna spread my fingers out, right? Oh. So that around here, my index finger is here and my pinky is here, wow. right? So I'm gonna push the bottom out a little bit just to get that out to the shape. All right, so I usually do um, multiple stretches, but I only pull up around twice when I'm stretching. All right, so I, I did that twice. So at this point, I'm not really utilizing my right hand. My right hand just guiding it. So my left hand is gonna lead, my right hand is gonna guide, and it's gonna barely touch the clay. Right. So let's say I'm gonna stretch from here. Right. Get my left hand in there, squeeze. Right. And as I'm stretching, my right hand is just above it slightly and guiding my right, the left hand. Right. So at, at this point, it's just mostly your left hand that's doing all the work, as you can see. Right. And you can see that that's my index finger. I think it's here. Hmm. All right, that's my middle finger right there. Guide that up, 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 right. and release. Right. Flex the shoulder a little bit. All right, so one more time. At this point, it's like a puzzle, right? You're gonna try to figure out where you can stretch and where you can't, um, and that's just to experience. <laughs> So this is the part where you're gonna, um, <laughs> this is the, middle the most uh, frustrating part because it might collapse on you here and there. Uh, so I'm gonna stretch, uh, probably stretch this out first, right? And then this way. So I'm gonna go in here, left hand in there, same thing, stretch it out, right? My right hand just guides it, push that out, 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 and just stretch that part a little more. <coughs> and then bring it up. All right, that's where my middle finger is. Blend it in to the shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. Bring the shoulder up a little bit at this point because I'm going to start to shape it into the shape that I want. Just so how are your fingers on the inside when you're... Just like this. Oh. So I start from here at the bottom. As I come up, it goes like that. Okay. And you, you're, you're not talking your thumb. It's out too. It's just not touching the... Um, the thumb sometimes touches, especially around here. You see that the slope? Mm -hmm. Um, you want to guide the top part with your thumb sometimes um, just to feel the balance and you'll notice that um, some part of my arm is touching the lip the entire time 
right? So as you're pushing this out and putting a lot of pressure at one point, you actually want to counterbalance that by pressing the lip on the opposite mm -hmm. side. And I'll do that again once you get to the tallest cylinder. Um, and you notice that these are still here. Stretch it out a little more. Right, so at this point, it's getting a little thinner, right? So be really careful. <laughs> right. Like I said, it's just like a puzzle. Right, right in there, stretch your shoulder up. Put this one in there. Yeah, right in there. Stretch it up. So I'm at, I'm at the very final stage of stretching. Okay. It's pretty good, flex the lip. Flare it out. You use your fingers as ribs, right? So right in there, I'm gonna lock my pinky in there. Push out from the inside, 